Well, there's been no test cricket in Pakistan for the last few years because of security, but this is the last match in an international tour of a different type that's had rave reviews over the last week in Pakistan. This is the British Army team playing the Pakistani Army, but they've also played Pakistan Cricket Board 11 as well. The captain of the uh, British team is Lance Corporal Jack Brinsley. Jack, how has this week been? Uh, just fantastic, you know, none of us, uh, you know, ever thought that it could be so good out here in Pakistan and uh, actually get the opportunity to play at Ralph Hindley Stadium yesterday and play against the Pakistani side. Um, well, you've, been on, you've been on the front pages of the newspapers, you took the wickets of three test players yesterday, uh, that's something else isn't it? Uh, it's, it's a bit surreal, you know, you, I don't think you can, uh, I was stood there yesterday and you have to take, it, take a step back and to, to let it all sink in a little bit. There have been no international matches in Pakistan since the Sri Lankan squad was attacked here in 2009. But these cricketers, all serving British military personnel, have had an apparently safe tour, albeit under tight security. I think this is a great initiative taken by the British Army. I mean, if the British Army can come and play, if we are coming to that stage when the full English team and the English uh, players should come and play in Pakistan. Well, the amount of coverage this tour got, with all the matches being shown live on national television, is an indication of just how hungry Pakistanis are for international sport to return here. And the cricketing authorities will be hoping that the British Army team have played some part in ensuring that happens. Ali Magul, BBC News, Raul Pindi.